Hey ladies, so this is my Victoria's Secret haul for Black Friday. It's not very big, but I um, wanted to share it. I should probably combine videos of my Black Friday haul, but knowing me, if I combine them, maybe way too long, it'd be like 50 minutes or something, like a movie. Okay, so yeah, my Victoria's Secret haul. Sorry, my bag's over here. Let me reach for it. And, okay. Ah, sorry. I, I should have got situated first. I thought I did, but obviously I did not. So the first thing I got was this bag. It's like, it, it goes in, there we go, see it? That's a good shape. It kind of like goes in at the corners and then it, they come out. There's like a magnet in there that makes them go in. So yeah, I actually been wanting a new like, like really, sorry, an itch on my nose. I've been wanting a new casual bag because like I always throw my purses around. I'm really bad about that. So on a day that I'm just running errands and I want to take my really nice purse, I just love this. It's so, it's like the nice canvasy material. You can wash it. My old um, Victoria's Secret one was like a bright pink, like almost like a um, neon pink and it had the words pink all over it in black. That one has, let me say, it's like seen its last breath of things like dying so I got this new one and I think it was $24.50 and for those of you who don't know Victoria's Secret has Black Friday either online or in the store oh my nose is itchy sorry um if you spend $65 you get their um Victoria's Secret like a really nice uh travel bag and it comes with I think three or four free product products inside. So last year was the first year I got that bag and I loved it. And so I love Victoria's Secret. So I use it all the time. So I'm like, okay, I'll do that again this year. So that was one of the stores I was really looking forward. I didn't go to very, very many, very many stores because to be honest, God, my nose is itchy. Sorry. I didn't want to stand in line. I think I stood in line at like, I went to like three stores and then my husband went to like two stores and I was ready to go. Cause I had like, if you watch my like, I don't know, my other video. I went to Walmart like first that night and I went to Kohl's to get like some bar stools. Man, I was beat. By four in the morning when my mom opened, I wanted to go home. I was ready to cry and crawl into bed. So I didn't go to very many, very many stores, but I did have to hit up Victoria's Secret. And then it really irritated me, by the way, because when I went home after shopping, a couple of stores that I did go to, I was like, they have better deals online with free shipping. Why did I even get myself up at actually like three in the morning? Cause I had to drive there and be there by four for when I had better deals online. So hopefully when those orders come in, cause I ended up ordering stuff online and then having to return the stuff I got in person, which I hated Ugh, such a pain. I had to go back to the mall like the next day. But, um, so hopefully when those get here, um, in the mail, I will show them to you. So anyways, back to my Victoria's Secret haul. Sorry, I'm hitting my chairs. And then... I just thought, I was going to get some pink stuff, but honestly, I've already so much for, like pink pants, sweatshirts, and I didn't want to have to try them on because the dressing room line was so long. So I just got some shampoo and conditioner, and I don't know if you guys have tried their shampoo and conditioner before, but I love it. And I am a shampoo and conditioner, like, I would say aficionado. I would go that far to say that. I feel confident because I've used so many different types of shampoo and conditioner let me know if you guys want me to make a video on that. I've mentioned it before, but I've seriously tried everything and anything, and I can pretty much tell you everything about any line you want to know. Um, but I tried these by a fluke. I think I ended up buying them at Victoria's Secret like a while ago, because I don't know what talked me into it, but I smelled them, they smelled good. I really have been using them ever since. Like I've been switching on and off between some of my other favorite shampoos and conditioners. But I can't get away from these. Like, they work so good. They make my hair, like, silk. I think I used it this morning. Yeah, I did. And I put no product in my hair. So this is just um, this Victoria's Secret shampoo and conditioner with nothing else. Uh, I was running late. So if, if I'm running late, the last thing to, the, the thing that gets um, forgotten is my hair. <laughs> it just gets shoved in a pony wet because it's so long. I don't have the time to like put into it, if that makes sense. So I'm just like, oh, the hair has to, something has to be spared. It's going to be the hair. So I love it. It's, it's I, and I'm sorry, I get the healthy hydrated shampoo and it says quenches for a plenished silky, super soft style. 
and this one is the Nourish Healthy and Hydrated Conditioner, so they go together. And they are for damaged, dry hair, but I used every type of shampoo I use is for damaged and dry hair. I don't have it, but I feel like, maybe you guys are like me, that you're like, well, it's extra, it must be extra moisturizing. So I'm gonna get that one, even though I don't need it. Since I was like 15, I've been using shampoos for dry and damaged hair, and I don't have very damaged, but they work really good on my hair, so I'm not gonna switch it yet. So yeah, love this. And I promise you, it smells so good. It smells like perfume. I don't own their very sexy perfume, but so I can't tell if that's what it smells like because it's called So Sexy Shampoo and Conditioner, but it smells so, it smells so good. I have so many people compliment me when I use this, like, oh, what perfume are you wearing? And sometimes I'm not, like, I don't, necessarily sometimes I forget to put perfume on and I'm like I think it's my is it my hair and they're like yeah that smells so good I mean this stuff really does smell absolutely amazing next time and it works amazing too next time you guys are in Victoria's Secret um stop and smell it and see what you guys you know maybe you'll like it too I really really like it it's not the cheapest shampoo um they're $12 each but they always have sales that are three for 24 or buy two, get one free, which is still $24. So basically $24 for three bottles. And then if you get like $10 coupons from Victoria's Secret, because you know they send them out kind of occasionally, like I just got one in the mail, you can get three bottles for um, $14. So that's not a bad price at all. So I got those bottles. I think I got six. Yeah, I did get six. But I already put some in my, oh, sorry. I hit that hard. I already put some in my, um, shower to start using because I was out of my other shampoo so there you go there's the ones I have left that I'm gonna stock away oh sorry it's in my cabinets and then the look and then all the shampoo the six shampoo conditioners plus my purse um equaled to over $65 so then I got this bag isn't it so cute it's so crazy because they're not rhinestones they're like the little little teeny silver they're like they're beveled, so it makes it look like they're rhinestones, but they're not. Let me see if I can get a close up. They're just little silver, like fake metal. There you can kind of see, like fake metal little be not beads, but whatever. I really like this. I think this is the same exact bag from last year. If it's not the same exact one, then it's really close. I should have pulled that last year's out, but I forgot. Okay, and then I got the Victoria's Secret um, Secret Reward card. So I think that starts December 1st. So let's see what I get. I've only, only ever gotten $10 value, but I still am excited. And then these are the free products that came inside the bag. And I haven't even opened this. Let me see. It's Victoria's Secret Bombshell Body Mist. It's actually a really good size. Like... Can you see? Man, I can't. So let me try to compare it to my hand. So it's pretty big. It's a pretty big um, sample size. And I've smelled the bombshell before, but I forgot. And someone gave me a good suggestion. I have to comment in the back. It's just spray it on yourself and then, you know, tell you guys what it smells like. Ooh, it's really sweet. Really sweet. I should have sprayed it higher. Now I'm spraying all, smelling all low. Like, it almost smells like, it smells very fruity. Fruity, sweet. That's kind of sticky, like a sticky, sweet. I don't know, I can't put my like finger, like I said, I'm super bad at describing fragrances, but it's a very sticky, sweet, fruity fragrance. Like it, the smell, you would, you remind you of like a sticky piece of like, strawberry like dripping or something that's what it smells like it doesn't smell bad it smells good I usually don't like really sweet fragrances but that smells nice and it's a body spray so it'll you know wear off more quickly and then the second product that came was this Victoria's Secret sheer love it says white cotton and pink lily hydrating body lotion and this is actually a really big size too for a sample I mean it's huge so you can see my there's my finger yeah really big it's 4.2 ounces i should tell you this one was 2.5 ounces sorry the container's not on 
Okay. And this smells like. It's a really soft scent. Kind of smell that reminds me of sweet pea. Like from Bath and Body Works. It smells really good actually. White cotton, pink blue. What would white cotton smell like? Like a white t-shirt? I don't know. It's a really soft, light, florally fragrance. Very, very nice. I actually really like that. I love the size because you can throw it in your bag. And then it also came with a sample of the new Victoria's Secret Angel. Sparkling, it's a sparkling plum, sheer violet amber. Sexy and confident, the essence of an icon. Earn your wings, be a Victoria's Secret Angel. Shoot, I wish. Their models are gorgeous. Okay, let me smell this. I don't know what this one's gonna, I have stuff all over me. Should I spray it on my other arm? There we go. Whew. Sorry, I gotta give it a second. It smells super alcoholy. I couldn't even tell you. I couldn't even describe this one to you. I. It's like a very bright, bright, bright scent. It reminds me when I was little and I used to go to Bath and Body Works and they had all their, not Bath and Body Works, the body shop. And they had all their essential oils like on a round table and you could smell them. It smells like that, like a very bright, not peachy, but like a bright fragrance, like bright in your face, crisp. It actually smells really good. Now that I let like the alcohol wear off a lot, it smells really good actually. It says sparkling plum, sheer violet, and amber. Those are the descriptions of it. And like I said, at first it smelled really bright on my arm. Now it's starting to smell more warm, like warm and like those are, like I think it's probably the amber. Those are the type of fragrances I like, are the warm, like cozy ones. Oh yeah, it's definitely transformed since being on my skin. That was a great suggestion. <laughs> I'm gonna comment my um, uh, subscriber back who suggested that to me. To actually spray them on and <laughs> then tell you guys what it smells like. Oh, that smells good. I might have to buy that. It, it at first it was like a really bright, like in your face, springy, smell and then it started to fade away and it's like a really warm and cozy um like that amber really started to shine through I really like it. it's really nice next time you guys are going to try a secret I would try that and then the last thing that came is also a little sample and it says best face primer self self magazine healthy beauty award it was winner best face primer mm, I'm not big on face primers you know what, I'm not gonna open this because I might donate it. Like I said, all the um, little samples that you don't use, you can donate. I'm not big on, you know, maybe I'll try it. I'm not big on face primers. I've tried the Smash, I used to use the Laura Mercier one years ago when I wore foundation and I liked it at first, but then I was like 16 when I started using it. And then by the end of it, I just, it wasn't for me. Smashbox, the photo primer, I don't know why that stuff is so expensive. Maybe it works good for some people, but I literally felt like I had the disgustingest, greasiest stuff on my face. It was so gross. And then I've tried one more primer recently. I didn't like it either. It's just not for me, I guess. Sorry, the last thing that came, back to the other stuff, in the little um, free gift packet was this, I don't know, it's a little coupon thing, I guess. What is this exactly? Oh yeah. It just like shows you some products they have available right now and on the back is a coupon for $10 off a $50 purchase. That's it. That's what came in the bag. That was my stuff at Victoria's Secret. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Oh, I did order one other thing from Victoria's Secret. When I came home, um, I went online and I ended up ordering Oh, cause I should say, I'm sorry. I got recently in the mail a reward certificate for $20 to Victoria's Secret. So I tried to use it when I went into Victoria's Secret um, to get all the stuff I just showed you. And they were like, oh, you can't use that and get the free bag for $65, you know, with, with a $65 purchase. If you use your coupon, you won't get the bag. I'm like, oh, okay. And so um, the date on there was expiring soon. Cause I actually got it a couple months ago. <laughs> it's been sitting around. 
So I went online and I ordered some Uggs because they had a really good deal going that day. It was like um, free shipping. You got the, another free bag I got. I'm going to give it to um, someone for Christmas. Like that's not going to be their, you know, it's going to be like a part of their gift. Not just, here you go. Here's a free bag I got. Um, so I got another one of those. I got another of the Secret Rewards cards. And then I got to use my $20 off coupon. Finally. So anywho, that one though, they're out of stock. I just got an email. They're out of stock until January 31st. So I might cancel because by that point, it'll be like the end of winter. So we'll see. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know a few questions. Bye.